Hi there, and welcome to learning about motors. Uh, so we are going to get going right away. I want you to go down to your dock, and I want you to find the Mindstorm software and click on it, and it should bounce and get things going. And you're going to go to this area that says code. So we're going to click on that. Now, some of you may have this choice. I pick word blocks and say create. Excellent. This is where you should be right now. And you should automatically have when program starts. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to turn on your robot. And so you hold it down, your robot will boot up. And then over here in the top right corner, we are waiting for it to make a connection. So now you can do this while your robot is connected through a cable. But what we really want is we want it to connect through Bluetooth. So if it's not making a connection through Bluetooth, you can click on it and see whether or not the robot can talk to talk to it. There we go. I, it took a couple of times. I'm going to click on Bluetooth and see down here. Now, I have a little section on connecting the robot uh, through Bluetooth you, on my website, so you can go and do that. What I'm actually looking for at the moment is I'm looking for the robot's name is Roomba, and there it is right there. So I have to hold down the Bluetooth button on it, and you can hear it beeping, and hey, there we go. Now they've actually made a connection. Awesome. So now I'm going to put my robot down on the ground right by my feet okay make sure that it's not going to drive off of the uh the cliff uh if you happen to be over near the edge of uh, our uh, computer lab and what i'd like you to do is we're going to start off by going into this motor section now if you can't see these things here on the left hand side like if it looks like this click on the blue motors section and you should be able to see all of these blue guys all right now i want you to grab the a run for one rotations grab it and drag it to when program starts and let it lock into place it has to be locked into place it can't be like this it has to be locked in excellent that's good and now, uh, oh, this is very important. You need to make sure that your robot is actually, the motors are plugged into A and B. And you can see right here that they are. Okay, so if they're not plugged into A and B ports, then you better unplug them and plug them into A and B, please. All right, so if they are, down here on the bottom right, I want you to click play. All right, and your robot should make a little turn. You can hit stop, and it should get the robot to stop. Okay, sometimes you have to tell it twice. You can hit play again, see if you can get your robot to do another turn. Then you have to tell it to stop. Now you can actually hit the stop button on the robot. So the, the big home button on the robot, and you'll see there that it automatically stopped. Great. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to switch this arrow. Okay, so it was going to the right, now we're going to go to the left. We'll click outside, and when I click on this button, it's going to automatically download the um, the information to uh, to it and it's going to call it zero okay so the storage position is zero I can change that if I wanted to I can change any of these numbers right here I uh, at the moment I'm playing around with zero okay I can also get it to download automatically and not play it so uh, so I can hit download. So it's downloaded this change. 
but it hasn't played it yet. And the robot will will uh, be able to, if I hit the start button on the robot, it will now turn the other way. And I want you to do that. So download the robot and then hit the start button on the robot. Great. Okay. And you'll notice that you don't actually have to tell the robot to stop then in, uh, until you click outside and now you have to say stop. Okay. There it is. The, it keeps it keeps talking to the robot, and you have to tell it to stop. Excellent. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to switch this motor right here. We're going to switch to B. All right. And I want you to hit play and see what the robot does. It went the opposite direction, as you'd think it probably would. Okay, hit stop. Great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to change this rotation right here. Whoops. Yeah, this guy right here to minus one. So I say minus one right there. And hit play, and you will see that it changes your robot's direction again. Pretty simple. Hit stop. Okay, so yeah, you can you can do that. You can um, actually you can even put in decimals and that kind of thing, one point five, and uh, and whatever it is that you need, you can um, put in, at, and you can change direction by again making this positive. And I actually want you to do that right now. Go back now, please make it positive one. Awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to select the duplicate and click the copy. Okay, so hold down the control key, not command, control, and click on this yellow part when the program starts and pick duplicate. All right, and over here we're going to click next. Fabulous. I want you to click on the letter B, and we're going to change this to motor A now. So right now we have two motors. One runs B and the other one runs A. Okay. And now I want you to hit play and see what your robot does. See how it turned more forcefully? Okay. So I, I hit stop, pick up your robot, and hit play. And notice which directions the wheels go notice that they're going in opposite directions and that's really important because the motors are 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 flipped around if you're looking in the bottom of your robot you'll notice that the motors are on opposite sides like one's facing to the right and the other's facing to the left so when you're telling your robot to go left Okay, and you're telling A to go left, and you're telling B to also go left. They're going in opposite directions. Stop your robot. Okay, now, on the right program, so that's this guy right here. I want you to hold down the control key and click on it and say delete block underneath it. Okay. And now I want you to do the same thing for this guy. Delete block. All right. Awesome. And now we're going to save what we have. We're going to go up to File. We're going to pick Save As. And you're going to go into your My Drive. Mine doesn't look like this, or, or yours doesn't look like this at all. You should have a folder called Robotics. Okay. Uh, robotics right here like that. And you're going to call this Learn Motors 1. And you can put a space in between there if you want. It's okay to put in spaces. Hit Save. And there we go. Now, what have we learned from demo number one? First of all, that the blue motor blocks only move a single motor if it's designated. We'll talk more about that later. Okay. Okay, that you can move another motor at the same time if you run another program next to it with the yellow when the program starts block. 
that you can make a motor run backwards from changing both its arrow direction and making the rotations negative. So you can do either one in order to make the, ro the motor run in the opposite direction. If you don't press stop, you can't download the new instructions to your robot. You always have to press stop. It matters what port your motor is plugged into. It really does matter which one you're plugged into, and that will become a big problem for you unless you pay attention to it. Okay? All right, and you must state which port your motor is plugged into. In other words, if you are here, you have to say, yeah, it's in B or it's in A. All right? Now, just a quick note that you can actually say multiple down here. We will talk about that later in another thing. But you can run different motors here. But there's some problems. And we'll talk about that why uh, later on why that is. Okay, you can go on now to the next video.